how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine so welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for returning back here to watch my videos for your love and your support but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe youtube automatically will turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so please do that and thank you so much so dear friends in our today's video it's not going to be a story time no today i'm going to be sharing with you a very important topic to you all that are on the dating sites on the dating apps searching for the right guy or you came across a guy he seems serious and you are at that chatting stage so i've been getting lots lots of questions when it comes to chatting also i remember did same same video two years ago but i think it's time to do an update because some things i didn't say them in that video so that is why i am here guys you who have been coming and asking me questions like bella you know i got this message from this guy what should i respond or bella this guy sent me this message so what questions can i ask him now please respond to me i'm talking to my babies because you guys whenever you get someone you run to me also you who follow me here on my youtube channel i get questions on the comment section concerning the chatting for example bella you know i've been chatting with this guy everything is flowing we are in a relationship but how many times should we chat in a day how many video calls should we make in a week because maybe this guy sends me just one message in the morning and another one in the evening should i block him bella <laughs> so all about chatting 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 i'm here to answer all your questions concerning the chatting thing okay isn't that exciting <laughs> i know it is it is but guys before i continue there is something i've been noticing here on the comment section and sometimes I'm like, why? Why, girl? <laughs> yeah, so if you have been following me for so long, you know I'm such a positive person. And when I'm doing every video on my channel, I want to transfer, you know, my positivity to you. Because you're going to be positive. Life is full of challenges. <laughs> yeah. If all you think is about negative things, negative things, all your mindset is full of negativity it is very difficult to keep pushing due to the reality of life so i always take my time to bring you videos to show you girl i know what you are going through it's not always easy very few ladies go to online dating sites and in a few days voila they'll phone the right guy living there happily ever after but majority oh my goodness the struggle is real you go through a lot went to an extent of telling you my own journey my own story something that is very very private but this is to the love i have for you and i knew telling you my story you'll be like oh wow if bella went through all that and now here she is <laughs> oh my god i'll make it I bring videos, very, very long videos, tell you stories in two details that most ladies went through before succeeding in life, all to show you, girl, yes, sometimes life can be very cruel. You can go through a lot. You know, you can take years and years before you succeed on the dating sites but don't give up it is part of the journey one day you are going to succeed and we will be telling your success love story i have ladies that approached me my clients crying it's not working at all on the dating sites bella what can i do even a lady who stayed 15 years on the dating sites i guided her and yeah started getting messages from guys and eventually found a guy that went to meet her in kenya now still building their love relationship something that never happened in her 15 years of searching for love on the dating sites so what i do or oh, my intention 
is to encourage you, raise you up. Like, girl, no, don't feel so sad. You're not ugly. You have no problem because some of you keep blaming yourselves that it's my problem. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm doing this. Maybe all it's my fault. It's my fault. No, it isn't your fault. These are the words I've been telling you. But after taking all that time, you know, investing so much time and energy to talk to you, to have a very positive community. <laughs> yeah, because some ladies watched my videos and succeeded, you know. I'm so proud of myself and I thank God. But exist ladies, they have been on the dating sites, have faced lots, lots of challenges, and they are at the point, have decided to give up on the dating sites and apps. But you find them here watching my videos and then at the end of the video, they write a comment like, I've been on the dating sites for so long, it's not working, I gave up long time ago. So my question here is, why girl, why are you discouraging others? You know, I'm here telling people not to give up, encouraging them, but you're here telling them to give up. So if you've decided to give up, it's fine. That's your choice. Give up in peace and alone. Don't come here to discourage people because I'm here to build people, encourage people, raise people up, you know, from whatever they have been through. Because I know at the end of the day, it works. It's not all about encouraging, but it works. And I also appreciate ladies that phone love online. Every time you write comments, very, very good, good comment, you know, saying that it worked. Yes, you are on the dating sites. It wasn't easy. You encourage people to pray that they will find love too. So such kind of comments are really, really good. But if you have given up, you come into the community whereby people have been facing a lot. They don't have even the energy. Instead of being like, hi fam, yes, it's hard. I've been facing a lot, but we are not giving up. Let us raise each other up. You know, give each other energy and that's how we are going to succeed. <laughs> oh my God, I talked so much about this. So it's time to go to uh, today's video, guys. <laughs> Let me hope you understand me and I don't want to see I have given up. Please, please, I repeat. So guys, like I said, today's video is going to be how you should chat with a guy on the dating app or dating site. And I'm going to be using examples so that we get to imagine the reality of things, you know, when we are on the dating sites or dating apps. So I'm going to be starting with question number one that I've been getting from you. This question is, Bella, I've been chatting with this guy. Everything has been good. It's been a week, but he's not asking for WhatsApp numbers. What can I do? I don't want to look desperate to this guy. So the real, real question here is, when should you exchange WhatsApp numbers with a guy online? And my answer is, you are on the dating apps, dating sites, an example. The guy sends you a message, you respond, you start chatting, your conversation is really flowing. You have been chatting for four hours, five hours. Don't chat the whole day or the whole week without asking for WhatsApp numbers. If he's not asking, after those five hours or six hours, be like, I love how everything has been flowing, our conversation, and you have said that you really want a serious relationship, you want to build this relationship. I think it is good for us to move on WhatsApp so that we get to chat more there, make video calls, get to see ourselves on a video call. What do you think? So guys, you asking that question, actually, you are setting this guy on a trap. <laughs> yeah. First of all, if this guy is one of those guys that wants to waste time only on the dating app, they won't give you their WhatsApp numbers. But also, if he is the guy that is married, you know, he's not single in his life, or he has got lots, lots of things to hide from you, will not give you his WhatsApp numbers. He will start telling you or proposing to you that let's chat using email, let's chat using Skype, Viber, 
telegram won't accept to go on whatsapp and you did not chat as someone who is desperate because you want to hear his opinion so when you hear no let's go to telegram oh no i can't give you my whatsapp i've been scammed on whatsapp so i don't want it to happen let's keep chatting here girl run block that guy but even that one that is going to accept to give you his whatsapp you go on whatsapp be there with your eyes wide open there are some very important things that you need to observe in your whatsapp conversation you should make a video call and it shouldn't be a five minutes video call or two minutes video call at least 15 minutes video call while on a video call observe his body language <laughs> if he's talking like someone who is scared looking like or ends the call without even informing you that let's chat later or tells you i'll call you later very very abruptly there is a problem <laughs> that guy is a player too but the reason why you asked for whatsapp is to see things in details <laughs> you know with whatsapp there are some things you can't hide when you're chatting with someone on whatsapp who is hiding some things on you it is very easy to find out that a guy who is using skype he will log in when he wants his wife won't have any idea about that skype account so it is something for him but with whatsapp people use whatsapp to communicate with their families if he has kids he has to communicate with his kids if he has relatives has to talk with the relatives has to communicate with the colleagues so he can't just not be on whatsapp for days and days and days like he would do on skype so that is why it is important you exchange whatsapp numbers that same same day not after a week not after a month let me hope with this you understand so guys question number two on how you should chat with a guy on the dating app or dating site i've been getting this a lot from you guys this question bella what questions should i ask a guy at first you know day one those first few days of chatting he sent me hello how are you doing you know i really like your pictures you're such a beautiful woman and i think we are looking for the same thing i would like to get to know you more so bella what can i do <laughs> what questions can i ask him and guys remember i told you that some questions you can't ask a guy those questions in your day one of chatting yeah day one should be light very very light questions but important questions at the same time so day one like that same same day that you guys are chatting a few days of communicating the questions you can ask this guy a kind of a relationship that he is looking for on that dating app or dating site never move forward to chat with a guy online without knowing a kind of a relationship he is looking for even if in his profile you saw he wrote was looking for a serious relationship ask again or some have their profiles their bios but they are not specifying a kind of a relationship they are looking for or you're not even understanding what he is looking for on that dating app or dating site so please ask i've been seeing this happening to my babies you find a girl is chatting with a guy they keep on chatting and chatting and at the end of the day when they come to me i give the lady questions for example ask him these questions and let's see the response the lady's like no bella you know i can't ask him such kind of questions because actually we're chatting as friends now <laughs> i'm like girl why would you chat with a guy as friends you are on that dating app or that dating site to look for a serious relationship so all your questions should be going that direction but if a guy tells you we are chatting as friends girl those important questions that could have helped you not waste time with that guy you can't even ask him because you are not chatting 
for the purpose of being in a love relationship. <laughs> so it blocks you. There is a boundary. You are just afraid. <laughs> yeah, so it is very, very important. Those guys that you chat and maybe you ask them what you're looking for on this dating app, they tell you, I'm looking, you know, for new people. I'm looking for just to meet friends and maybe who knows something more. <laughs> that one, don't give him your time. Don't be there and hoping maybe we're just going to start as friends and later go to a love relationship. No. If a guy goes to an online dating site or app to look for a serious relationship that will lead to marriage, he will know what he is looking for when you ask him. He won't start by telling you, let us be friends. Like this morning, there is a baby of mine who was chatting with a guy <laughs> and then this guy told her that he doesn't want to tell her that he is looking for a serious relationship because it seems like a contract to him. So a guy who is telling you that he can't say he is looking for a serious relationship because it seems like a contract, that kind of a guy is on that dating app just to waste time. Yeah, <laughs> if you be like, let me hop and chat with him, things will change. He will chat with you. He will start ghosting you. And you can't even ask him, why have you been ghosting me? <laughs> you ghost me, you reappear, then you disappear. Why are you doing that? You can't because this guy never told you I was looking for a serious relationship. You're just chatting as a by the way. Dear ladies, stop wasting your time online with such kind of guys. Okay. So question number two that you can ask this guy, whom does he live with? It is very, very important. Like last time, you remember the story that I shared of a Kenyan lady who dated a guy who was still living under the same roof with the ex-wife. We saw how it ended. It really ended so badly. It is very important for you to know if he lives alone, he still lives with the ex, he lives with a friend. And guys who will tell you, I still live with my friends, there is a problem. Because if you guys are going to build that relationship and then you have to live together, so are you going to be living with the friends? Those are the questions you will ask the guy as you continue chatting. That guy that will tell you he lives with the friends so that you can get to see his plan, how financially is prepared to have the wife. <laughs> the wife who lives very, very far away from him, from Africa. Yeah. <laughs> So he's going to be like, I live with my friends or I still live with my family. Get to know the next plan because you guys will have to live together eventually. If he tells you he lives with his kids, then now you know, you start preparing yourself that if we will have to live together, we will be living with his kids. If he tells you he lives alone, it's fine. And when you do a video call, you will confirm if it's true. He lives alone, lives with the friends, lives with the kids. That is why the video call is very, very important. And this question, whom does he live with is also important. <laughs> yeah. Question. So guys, question number three to ask a guy that day one, few messages you're chatting. <laughs> you should never forget this. What do you do for a living? It's a very important question. This will help you to understand the type of a job that guy is doing and also try to see if this guy <laughs> will be able to handle a long distance relationship and interracial relationship. I told you if you're to date a guy, that guy should have a stable job. It's not a must for that guy to be rich but he should have a stable job because when he has a stable job, the things that he will be promising you, babe, I'll come to meet you or babe, I'm going to invite you so that you can come see my life. If he is a serious guy, then they will happen. But if he doesn't have a stable job, then that is when you will find a guy is promising you. And at the end of the day, he tells you, oh, you know what? I need to still save. Or they start telling you, you have to pay half. I pay half. You know, those talks 
folks and it's not that the guy doesn't love you but financially is not stable does not have a stable job i've been seeing lots of my babies you chat with guys and then you come to me bella i've been chatting with this guy he seems serious and i'm like okay what does he do for a living like oh my god i forgot to ask about that and it's been a month chatting with this guy don't do that Question number four to ask a guy that you're chatting to online is the city where he lives. If he hides the city where he lives, then he has got lots, lots of things that he is hiding from you. He should just tell you, you know, I live in this city and that's it. Question number five to ask a guy, you know, that day one is his relationship status. Is he single, separated or divorced? And I said one time in one of my videos that separation is not divorce. So it is good to understand his relationship status. Even if you went through his profile and he had written separated or he had written divorced. Ask again, because some guys intentionally, <laughs> they put divorced, but they know they are in that separation process, not yet divorced. But some, they don't put even anything on that relationship status. So that is why you should go at it again and ask the guy. Question number seven, his hobbies, the things that he likes to do when he is free. I know this one, <laughs> you always ask it. <laughs> Another question is, was that guy looking for a black woman specifically on the dating sites? And if yes, he should tell you why. Listen to the response. <laughs> if he tells you, yes, I was looking for a black woman because they are so good in bed, we have a problem. <laughs> or I was looking for a black woman because they are very obedient and submissive, we have another big problem problem yeah that guy should give you reasons when you think of them you'll be like yeah he's not a sick guy <laughs> i think he is right yeah because some of these white guys they go to the dating apps especially you who are searching for interracial relationship some not all because remember i'm married to a white guy <laughs> Yeah, my husband is not included and those good, good white guys that I know out there, they are not included. But some of those with sick mind, <laughs> they will go to the dating sites to search for a black woman because they know no white woman in their right senses will ever date them the way they are. Very abusive, toxic, alcoholic selfish they won't be accepted by a white woman so they be like who will accept me of course a desperate black woman black women are very obedient they are so submissive they are loyal they will listen to whatever i tell them i'll treat them the way i want and they're going to accept it all let me go for a black woman which is very very wrong so it's so important to ask that white guy why a black woman why why didn't you pick a woman of your color and get married to her or why didn't you search for a white woman on the dating sites this reminds me recently i got a guy he was single you know looking for a woman approached me and really i talked to him but as i was talking to him because i told you guys i don't do connections but if it is matchmaking, yes, I can do. In that case, if a guy approaches me and I have ladies that are interested in that. So when a guy comes, I have to interview him to see if he has all those good qualities <laughs> that can fit one of my ladies, the ladies that I have for matchmaking. So this guy approaches me was a black guy and i asked him questions <laughs> before moving forward because i can't just tell a lady take this guy i really don't know what he's looking for and all that so asking him questions and i came to find out at that time didn't have a job was doing training so that he can start working and he told me doesn't care 
where the woman will be coming from. So even if a lady comes from Kenya, Tanzania, Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, Nigeria, it's not a problem to him. But my question to him was, okay, if you want a long distance relationship, but you know you have to put some money into that long distance relationship. So you're not working. So how do you intend to handle such kind of a relationship? Guess what? The guy never answered that. I asked him another question. <laughs> <laughs> that I see you're from this country. So how comes, you know, you're not finding a lady in your country? Why here? Why on Bella's Instagram account? <laughs> then this guy is like, because I want to get married and settle down. So does it mean it is a must for me to find love in my country? I'm like, boy, calm down. <laughs> I just want to understand why. Why not in your country? Why here? <laughs> oh my god, it's like every question I could ask this guy, his blood could boil. <laughs> and eventually he ghosted me. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay, I know you guys. You can't just come on my channel and think that I'll just give you a lady, you know, do connections, you talk. No, I don't do that. <laughs> We are searching for quality guys, not just a guy. So you guys should ask questions because from their response, you will learn a lot. You'll get to understand a lot about that guy. We go to another question. So questions are so many, but this is just to help you, you know, get an idea. Ask light, light questions, but important questions, like I said. So with this one, there is a story coming and you guys, will be shocked yeah ask a guy you are chatting to online before you go further that is day one if you are living in a different continent from where that guy lives or maybe on the same continent but living in different states because i know for example i have people who live in america and you are on the dating sites searching for love you chat with a guy he is in another state six hours by plane to where you live it is very important dear ladies to ask this guy what is his view on a long distance relationship is it okay for him to date someone who is very far away from him get to hear what he will respond to you because his response will tell you a lot some will answer you like i have never tried long distance relationship this is my first time but it's okay i'll put all the efforts to make sure it works that is a very good answer a normal answer but if you ask a guy what he thinks about you being very far away from him and then he answers you like i'm not so sure about dating someone who is very far away from me. Long distance relationships are not easy. <laughs> uh, anyways, I can give it a try, but not really sure. When you hear that, run girl, run, before it's too late. Because you're going to invest your time and when that guy, as time goes, you guys have to meet, that is when he will take steps backward <laughs> and start ghosting you start giving you stories at the end of the day he might come back and tell you uh you know from the start i told you i wasn't sure about a long distance relationship this cannot work and that's when you start crying my dear sister <laughs> but if you asked him this question before attaching yourselves to each other <laughs> Because when this guy starts chatting with you, you get attached, they manipulate you. <laughs> you stop reasoning. So before we arrive at that stage, ask this guy. And I'm sure he will answer you in a honest way. Yes. <laughs> so some other questions can be like, if he ever traveled to Africa, which country did he go to? What was his experience? What was his culture shock? You know, and that's how you start talking about culture. And if he ever tried African food, that is when you start telling him, yeah, if all goes well, one day I'm gonna cook for you African food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if he knows anything about african music you know 
that kind of talking before you go to ask this guy about 50 50. you can't ask a guy if he's into 50 50 day one not at all yeah so those are the questions for day one let me hope this was very very helpful to you so guys yes i have shared with you the questions to ask a guy day one but some of you through your communication on your first chat <laughs> you have been making these guys run away from you thinking maybe you are fake thinking maybe you're aggressive <laughs> thinking you are constructed you know kind of yeah why am i saying this it is very okay to ask a guy that you met online those questions that i told you to ask him but the question here is how do you ask those questions do you ask them all at once <laughs> or how do you even do it so guys i'm going to start on how you have been doing it the wrong way and i'll tell you how you should do it the right way so that that guy doesn't see that you're so constructed doesn't see that you are interrogating him doesn't see that you are aggressive so i am going to be giving you an example you know of what of some of my babies when they came to me at first before guiding them how they were doing it and some of my babies never asked me this now you're going to be finding out so a guy sends you a message compliments you and would like to get to know you more and from there because maybe it is your first time to get a guy who really shows that he wants to chat with you he wants to get to know you more then you start asking him questions it is a question after question question after question you ask all questions they are done you run to bella bella give me more questions <laughs> I want to ask this guy, but I tell you, send me your chat. I go through your chat and I see that in real sense, girl, it's been only you asking this guy questions. <laughs> this guy has not been asking you questions. Maybe he asked you first three questions and stopped there. Now it is question and answer. <laughs> an interrogation that is wrong if a guy sends you a message he compliments you compliment him back be like why not yes let us get to know each other and feel free to ask me any questions okay then from there see what he will write if he asks you a question respond to that question and ask him a question again that is how you get to know each other not you getting to know him not at all or him getting to know you not at all it's you both of you getting to know each other okay <laughs> don't be scared that if i don't ask questions he's gonna run because i don't know how to keep the conversation going you asking one question after another isn't keeping on the conversation going if that guy was really serious wanted to get to know you and you came up with that tactic of attacking <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna lose interest to ask you questions too let the guy desire you <laughs> yeah it shouldn't be like you desiring him wanting to know everything about him and not him wanting to know everything about you please please so i have said if a guy is serious yeah he might feel that way and will get bored eventually will stop writing to you but if you meet a player <laughs> that wants to play games he will keep on answering your questions keep on answering your questions when you tell him can you please ask me questions he will tell you ah, no problem for me it's fine i like you already <laughs> i want you to be my wife so just ask keep on asking so you are going to ask questions and questions will come to bella she'll give you more questions you'll go to her youtube channel you'll watch that video she did about questions you'll get more questions you will ask for the whole week when questions are done nothing to talk about that guy won't chat with you anymore 
because the communication was only one-sided. So no matter we know what to ask these guys on day one of communication, let's calm down a bit, okay? <laughs> Let it be a two-sided communication. Let me hope with this you understand me. So guys, number two on how you should chat with a guy on the dating sites and dating apps. Because some of you be like, Bella, I have found the one. I've asked this guy questions. He has asked me questions. Everything is flowing. We have even moved to WhatsApp. We made a video call. You know, all is good. So from here, how should it be? Like, how should our communication be? So my answer here is, if you have been communicating, it is those first few weeks of you communicating, still getting to know each other, of course, your conversation, your communication should be the intense one because you are still getting to know each other. You don't know lots of things about each other. But when you have asked questions, he has asked you questions, all is good somehow it's like you know each other already you have decided let us start dating this guy hasn't shown you even one red flag that maybe he's trying to hide something from you not at all all is going like this in the right way my advice is you should be at peace too don't start stressing this guy wanting this guy to send you messages every after five minutes <laughs> Yeah, you want you guys to chat, the whole morning you chat, the whole afternoon you chat, the whole evening you chat, at night you chat, like you want that guy to be there on the phone with you. No, he will be stressed, he will feel so pressed <laughs> and won't feel happy at peace at all at all. And men, when they are looking for a relationship, he wants a healthy relationship, doesn't want to feel pressed, stressed all the time, you complaining, why are you not writing to me? But this guy wrote to you, for example, three messages that morning. And in the afternoon, when he was at work, maybe he sent you one message. And in the evening, he sent you another message. For you, it's not enough. You want to do video calls every single day. No, don't do that, please. <laughs> Yeah, actually, if I am in your shoes, I phone the guy, everything is good. I don't see any red flag. I give the guy the space, okay? Whenever he's free, I know he'll look for me. But of course, as a woman, I have to do my part. Once in a while, I can be the one to initiate the conversation like, hi, honey, how was your night? And then he will respond. Later, I know even if he doesn't check me, in the afternoon maybe was busy with work will check me in the evening there is no need for me to be stressed all the time thinking oh my god why didn't he write to me oh my god where is he no maybe if he keeps quiet the whole day then there you should be worried but if the guy is showing up during the day never disappeared on you everything is fine between you just normal things how was your night what are you doing right now what are your plans for today that's it dear ladies you don't have a lot like to be talking about all the time or making videos all the time <laughs> no need i've been seeing these things happening you stressing up for nothing i'm telling you you stressing up won't help a thing will destroy your relationship completely men don't like to be stressed especially if he's a good guy he's not giving you any signs of a bad guy and you start pressing him like maybe you're doubting him they'll be like ah to hell with this relationship yes she's a very beautiful woman i liked her but i can't keep on living like this so I don't want to say this, then you misunderstand me. A guy should check you, shouldn't disappear on you the whole day. A guy who loves you will not pass the whole day without hearing from you. And I said he can check you in the morning and maybe in the evening when he has time. But if this guy has to write to you in the morning and in the evening, then his messages to you shouldn't be good morning and good night. 
those messages should have the content into it <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah you chat good morning how was your night and some few things about his life at that moment and then on your side even at night not just a good night how was your day how the day went give you maybe you know some stories of the things that happened and you too that's what i mean content not just a plain message good morning good night <laughs> a guy like that dear sisters block is not all that interested in you i told you if a guy is interested will want to know more about you how your day went how you slept and all that when it comes to video calls if both of you are working both of you have a very busy busy life then you can make only one video call in a week but a long one yeah <laughs> make sure you schedule for that but if your life isn't all that busy both of you then three video calls in a week are very very okay but even two not bad stop wanting video calls every day but if a guy it's okay with him it's not a big deal he has that time to call you every single day on a video call it's fine too what i detest is chatting with a guy online with no video calls at all at all or you make video calls of one minute two minutes what's that <laughs> what can you talk about in two minutes what can you understand in a two minutes video call if you see you're chatting with a guy and you thought the guy is serious but whenever you bring the video call topic he makes corners girl that guy has got a lot of things that he is hiding from you about his life i know a lady that approached me recently was dating a guy for the whole one year and actually thought that guy was the one but as she was telling me her story now it went bad yeah it's a failed online dating story so as she was telling me that story you know i tried to pick up the red flags so it was like bella in the whole year we made only one video call and whenever i could ask this guy let's chat on a video call he could tell me no for me it's fine let us just you know keep on chatting so we could only chat no video calls i'm like girl <laughs> why why did you do that and suddenly you find a lady like this saying bella i've been following you for a while <laughs> no please please don't disappoint me this much please <laughs> i really put all my energy my time my soul into this to save you guys from future tears so i'm still on a video call you have been in a relationship everything is fine the guy has been so good to you you know he is your boyfriend you have decided we are boyfriend and girlfriend you have not ignored a single red flag in that guy i'm not saying he's a perfect guy because <laughs> we are not perfect i'm not perfect you're not perfect he is not perfect okay but he's a right guy <laughs> so as you are talking and you plan okay we're going to have a video call on sunday as a woman now it's girl's talk please prepare something special do some surprises for this guy do something that he wasn't even expecting for you to do it on a video call to make this guy when he ends that video call he will keep on thinking about you he will keep on missing you that is how you spice up your long distance relationship <laughs> so dear friends we go to number three on how you should chat with a guy on the dating apps and dating sites so you have been chatting with this guy everything has been going super super good you have lots lots of plans together and all of a sudden that day he keeps quiet on you and the next day you'll be like ah, no let me send him a message you know to say hello to him maybe he's not feeling well maybe something happened so you send that whatsapp message to him and you see that he read that message but chose to ignore you so in that situation 
don't keep on writing messages to this guy don't start calling this guy unstoppable <laughs> never ever do such kind of a thing you did your part did you check on him yes you never ignored him so if he chose to ignore you that means the guy was just playing games on you and he is no longer interested in you keep on with your life give that guy one week to get back to you and if he gets back to you get to listen and reason to what he is telling you but also stay on that alert mode if a week passes he did not come back to you block that guy life moves on yeah that's part of the journey that's how online dating world can be then you keeping on calling and calling and calling sending messages you're going to run crazy or whereby that guy maybe is busy <laughs> promising the world another african woman in another country yeah so dear friends number four the visiting topic bella when can i ask a guy about meeting because you have been talking and talking but i don't see this guy talking about that as a woman what do i need to do still i don't want to look desperate i don't want to feel like i'm pressuring this guy i'm pushing this guy a lot so we take another example you have been chatting with this guy all is good talked on a video call he has told you so many things about himself and you have told him so many things about yourself not all <laughs> yeah like i advised you guys don't say it all in swahili there is this say usifunguke yote <laughs> <laughs> to this guy <laughs> yeah but you kind know each other all is fine this guy has asked you to be his girlfriend and he says i see the future together you're my everything you know i want to marry you have kids with you but not talking when are we meeting when are these things going to happen <laughs> so in that position as a woman when a guy talks like to be so much in love with you he's so attached to you giving you his future plans and in his future plans you're included yeah you come up with this question like i really like how everything has been going every day when i wake up i'm very happy just because of you to be in my life but i have this curious question that i would like to ask you because i see up to now everything is really good so if all continues to be like this what is your next plan don't be like when are you inviting me when are you coming to see me no ask him what is his next plan because all is good you are dating exclusively he deleted the dating app you have deleted the dating app we need the next plan so in his next plan so in his next plan if he tells you um i'm planning to come and see you then there you can be like what if i be the one to come and visit you first then if he tells you yes no problem you can come you can respond again if you invite me and if he says yes he can invite you then you tell him you know i checked the like, traveling costs and everything according to maybe the work i do i can't afford that if you come in then that will be good he will tell you there no i cannot if you're to come you have to pay for yourselves <laughs> from there <laughs> be like okay i can't waste time no more bye but if he tells you no problem we can talk about it i will see how i can come in uh everything will be fine we are going to meet then you keep on talking and set the date the month and the year when you guys are meeting whether you're going or he is coming <laughs> if you don't want to go to his country and you see he accepted he's gonna sponsor everything to invite you you can be like no still i feel like you should be the one to come first and you'll have an answer that the guy has got nothing to hide from you concerning his life in his country another trick i gave you you can say yes and he accepts you keep observing till the day he said you'll start the process you see if he still talks about it not you bringing it him 
reminding you hey honey we accepted this date it's approaching i'm sending you this when you hear him saying maybe tomorrow i'm going to this office to check if i can get this information concerning inviting you you know oh yes he means it that is when you'll be like ah, something came up i can't travel anymore you can just be the one to come and yeah like that <laughs> But you know already that, oh yes, he really meant it, that he was to invite me. So guys, I'm going to be sharing with you last, last questions to ask a guy online, but these questions shouldn't be asked week one. You can ask this question week two. And even the topic of meeting, I told you, chat with a guy within three months, find out when are you meeting? So this question too of meeting shouldn't be in week one of you guys communicating because the guy won't tell you, I want to marry you, you're everything to me in week one. If he says that, we have a very big problem. So these two that I'm to share, they are not for week one. So these questions, maybe after two months or three months of you communicating, at that time, I believe you will have built your relationship very very much 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 you have gained confidence in each other you're kind of free with each other not to show your goodies online of course not <laughs> yeah but on other things you're really really free so here comes a question of 50 50 you should ask that guy that you have been chatting to that guy that says will come to marry you in your country for the first time wants to do the introduction blah 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 all that if he is into 50 50 kind of a relationship financially get to hear his own view don't be like are you into 50 50 kind of a relationship <laughs> no what is your view when it comes to a 50 50 kind of a relationship financially hear the response and decide according to you according to how you want that relationship to be when it comes to 50 50. the last question of today this one most of my babies you know we have been talking of these things yeah <laughs> it's about sex fantasies <laughs> that is why i told you this one you can't ask him week one because even that confidence you don't have it you know to bring such kind of a topic but it is very very important you talk about it especially if you are a woman who is interested in an interracial relationship you want to date guys outside your race you know guys internationally and we know when we talk of internationally people have got different cultures different traditions different ways of doing things yeah <laughs> so in this world exist men who will prefer sex in a certain way and according to how you were raised from your culture from your country that way that he prefers maybe it is an abomination in your country maybe it is something you told yourself i'll never do such kind of a thing <laughs> so it is important to know from a guy so that you get to understand what you're about to put yourself into eventually if you guys are to get married but you don't just ask a guy what are your fantasies <laughs> some will think maybe you want to talk about sex talks and it will bring you trouble <laughs> yeah so there is a way you have to phrase this so that you can get the response and get to see if that guy has got weird sex fantasies or he's just a normal guy just like guys in your country or a guy that you would date and enjoy the goodies happily <laughs> yeah so with this you can be like due to that we are from different cultures tradition different countries i have this curious question in mind that i want to ask you but please don't get me wrong and think that i want to go so deep into those talks 
at all at all it is just that i want to really understand a guy that i am dating a guy that will be my future husband so answer me in a honest way and i won't judge you at all at all at the end of the day it is just a curious question do you have any weird fantasies and you leave it like that <laughs> and i am sure guys he will respond to you in a very very honest way i've been doing this with my babies i know right now you're laughing and do these guys always answer in a honest way yes of course <laughs> yeah lastly guys with all those questions you know all the chats your communication getting to know each other it shouldn't be only about making that guy happy. It shouldn't be only on what that guy likes. It should also be about what you want, what makes you happy, what you can accept, and what you don't accept. Let me hope this video was very, very helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching till now. May God bless you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know please don't forget to subscribe subscribe please and join the family thank you so much once again i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao